Welcome to the ultimate showdown in silicon. It's a process or die 3000, where only the fastest ship survives. Battle up, buttercup, it's time to find out who's the true speed demon in this silicon soap opera. Hello, my name is Sam. Today, I wanted to talk about the speed of large language model. It's getting crazy lately. The first time that I heard about the fast AI inference, it was Grok, and it got me confused because I thought it belonged to Elon Musk because his model also named Grok. I tried it out and I found out it's extremely speed and it got the attention of someone like Mark Zuckerberg, which is right now on his redemption arc from being the weird robot, humanoid robot, giving Grok actually credits about how they run the Lama 3.1 models. And not only they give you free access, they give you a free EBI key that you can use any model they have on their platform. They have available like the Gamma, the Lama 3, the Lama 3.1, 70B, and the 8B, and even the open source Whisper Large from OpenAI. To be forward with you, I thought that it's the best thing when you want to create an ABI relying on a speed of the response for large language model. Until I found out there is something even faster. Not only just fast, it's insanely fast. Let me introduce you to the fastest AI inference right now, Zomba Nova. This new technology is kind of not getting the attention it deserves. As you can see here, they're comparing themselves between almost every single AI inference that run Lama 3.1 405 billion parameter and they kind of making fun of the other competitive like Grok and Cerberus they're making the question mark like we don't know how fast they are because they're not running the 405 billion parameter model it claim it's over 10 times faster than GPUs I want to talk a little bit about what makes Somba Nova stand out and why it might be the future of a large language model. This article is from Samba Nova itself, talking about the purpose, why they built their architect like this, to compare between the regular GPUs and CPUs from NVIDIA and the ships from Samba Nova. GPU and CPUs actually is using something called Instruction Set Architecture, ISA. It's created to power the computer graphic, the GPU that we have, like the RTX that I'm running on my machine. And CPUs have a few very large cores and are the best for general purpose computing and performing number of different tasks. But GPUs, on the other hand, have many smaller cores, sometimes thousand, and are the best for handling multi-similar processes that can be done in parallel. This is why we use GPU for running gaming, Deep learning actually is just a data flow oriented workload. In order for GPU to run any deep learning project, they perform something called a kernel by kernel programming model. That means they use a very compute and memory intensive process. This is a logical compute graph for a conventional network with just five kernels. Each kernel must be individually loaded into a CPU or a GPU. They read from the system memory into the process and calculate and perform the output and write it back to the system memory. They repeat this task for each successive kernel. Basically for each step, they repeat this process. It's of course an excessive volume of data movement in the GPU and the memory. It consumes a lot of memory of course, bandwidth, and also a cost. So what is the solution that Somba Nova provide? Somba Nova provides something called Reconfigurable Data Flow Architect, and the short name for it, RDA. It's a create a custom processing pipeline that allows data to flow through the complete computation graph. As you can see here, they provide this kind of chip, and here this is the flow that coming from the memory, going to the chip itself, and as you can see here, there is some sort of bass created to minimize the data movement and result in extreme high hardware utilization. Why they are doing this? The AI model, when it's given a prompt, they load the entire model into the ship memory. 
The model is then written from one shape memory back to the system memory after the give you an answer. Every time that we give a prompt to a model, it do the same thing. Even with the A100 and H100 GPUs that have 80 gigabytes on one shape memory, which is only a small fraction of what is required to run a huge and modern generative AI models. We're not talking about the small one like the 8B and the 7TB. We're talking about like 405 billion parameter model. It will require a huge number of a system to run it and also a huge cost. So in construct, Sombanova ship called the SN4OL has three tiered memory architect. So this chip can have terabytes of memory and it can easily run trillion parameter model on just a single Samba Nova chip. This is insane if it's true. So let's test it out and see how the speed of Samba Nova and the chat they provide. They give us this really cool playground in the Samba Nova cloud and they have multiple models. I selected the biggest, which is the 405 billion instruct. And I'm going to ask it to create a three day week workout schedule. All right. Oh, shit. But in mind, this is the biggest open source model right now that we have. It's a 405 billion billion parameter instruct. Just to remind you, this model is 230 gigabyte in size. So it's a biggest chunk model that I have ever seen so far in open source. And it's of course one of the best that we have right now. And it give me this response in 5.0 seconds. And the first talking was in less is in a half of a second. Okay. I don't know what is the TS. I think it's a token to speed. I'm not sure. I have here prompt created by Claudia Sonnet. It should create a 15 page a fantasy adventure story. This is, should take a while if you ask it to a normal large language model using a GPU. Let's see how it will take to generate this story. So actually I kind of hit a limit, but the speed of writing this chapter is in less than four, five seconds. Then I told it to start. To write the story, it gave me the first chapter in six seconds. And then I told it to write all the chapters so we get rid of the entire thing at once. And it gave me a decent amount of chapters. It gave me five chapters in less than 15 seconds. It had to stop because the prompt got an issue with the token, lo uh, how long the token it is, which is not a problem in the AI interface itself. It's the model limitation. Imagine this AI inference you use with a chat bot or a rag. It will be extremely fast. We have here access also to the ABI. You can use streaming ABI or non-streaming ABI. And they have another cool service called the AI Starter Kit. One of the coolest things that I found about it is the function calling already there. And you can benchmark and compare model performance. That's perfect if you want to decide what you want to use in terms of model. Of course, I'm not going to forget about this part, enterprise knowledge retrieval. Basically, you will put your PDF, text docs, and more, and use it to build a RAG or a custom chatbot. There is also a search assistant, finance assistant. They have like a full stack environment for using AI if you want just plug in your ABI key and start building. I can't end the video without talking about Cerebris inference. It's another new alternative for Sambanova or Grok. It seems that Cerebris have a slight advantage in running the 8 billion barometer model, which was achieving 1,800 tokens per second. But Sambanova got 1,800 tokens per second. But Sambanova, when running the 70B model, it processed about 500 tokens per second. And uh, Cerebris got about 450 tokens per second. And to let you know, I couldn't find the 405 billion parameter in the Cerebris yet. It is still under development. 
So where I'm getting this information from, it's kind of scattered into a different article. I'm going to leave them in the description, of course. And you can find here that actually said it over here, 1,800 token per second for the LAMAS 3 8 billion parameter and 450 for the 70 billion parameter. And the Sambanova actually here, 8 billion parameter for Sambanova process 1,100 tokens and for the 70B about 500 tokens. So as you can see here, they're kind of equal. I'm gonna create another video if you guys are interested about Cerebris and try to talk about the architect and what's going on underneath it. If you are interested, please just let me know in the comment if you like this kind of content and you like to know more about this kind of coming technology. And don't forget like and comment down below and subscribe to the channel. It's have been a very nice to learn about this technology. Thank you for watching. My name is Hussam Dean, or you can simply call me Sam and see you on the next one.